Hola and welcome back to the Portuguese Guys YouTube channel. So while the Portuguese guy's away, Caroline's going to play. He's actually asked me to do a couple of episodes for his YouTube channel while he's off on a big bikepacking adventure, but more of that later. If you like anything that you see today, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. It helps to get our message out to the wider community. We're a no frills YouTube channel. We like to say it how it is from all our years of experience. Talking of experience, today I'm going to talk about eight items that you might already have, if not that you should have, and people very rarely take. Having had over 30 years of experience working alongside emergency services, these are items that you might want to consider when you're out on your next bike pack. Now, we all know that weight is always an issue when you're bike packing. You want to take the most for the smallest and lowest amount of weight, but there are some things that you just can't compromise on. One of those is your actual water filter system. You should always be taking one of these. And one of them is my favorite, is the platypus. Now I'm not being paid to endorse these products. I'm just using them from my own experience. So ask yourself why I like the platypus. It fits on virtually everything. It fits onto my orderly water reservoir system that holds about 10 liters. I can drink straight from it. And what I like most of all is that it actually folds up really, really small. And you can put it in your panniers, but you always have a water supply there. I've used this many, many times. If you go to the Platypus channel, it'll actually tell you how to look after your filter. At some point, they will need replacing. It's worth bearing in mind that when you get a water filter system, you should get two. Come the summer months when everybody's planning their bikepacking trips, it's very difficult actually to get hold of these. Yeah, you've got them online, but a lot of the time they're also sold out. Now, I have used this uh, uh, last year. It was 45 degrees plus, and we needed to use these, this and carry it. There was no water, there was no houses, no buildings, there was nothing. So it is always worth carrying a water filter system with you. You ask yourself, how am I going to gain attention to myself? One of the items that might actually help you with this is this extremely small brush. And it's beautiful for just combing your hair anyway, it packs up small, but on it is actually a mirror. Now, you should, if you don't already know this, recognize that the SOS signal is actually a dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. That's three dots, three dashes, three dots. And with a mirror, unfortunately it's overcast today, but with a mirror, you can actually get the sunlight and use your hand to cover it, to get that message across. If you're really stuck and you can't get back up that ravine. So that is a really, really good investment. If nothing else, it's just a tiny, tiny, small brush that fits in the palm of my hand. Well worth investing in. Now you might say, yeah, it's always overcast in the Northern Hemisphere. So how else are you gonna get attention? Well, one of the things that I always take is this Petzl Actic, active uh, head torch. This is superb. It's got multifunctional uses. Obviously, it's got a head torch there, but this one has actually got a rear light. If I knock that off a second, it's also got a front light. Sorry, it's just taken a while to warm up there. It's also got a front light. So if your bike lights go missing, you can also use this as a temporary replacement. You can put it on your head, use it as a front light, swing it round and use it as a rear light. But what I like about this head torch is that you too at night time can do the SOS signal simply by having the main beam on, putting your hand over and doing the dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. This also has a whistle on it. And actually when I go bike packing on my own, I never take it off my body. I never leave it on my bike. Now, one thing that these people that is totally ingenious at Petzl, they've actually fitted at the side a whistle on the head torches. The universal distress signal is six blasts on the whistle and that's repeated every minute until you get help to come. And you repeat that every minute. 
So one of the other ways of communicating that an instance has occurred, especially if there's two of you, is to carry these Life Systems glow sticks. These can, la these can last up to actually 15 hours and they are so thin and narrow, you can put them in your crossbar bag, simply put them in and forget about them. But please bear in mind that once you open these, they're actually no good. You have to replace them. And these are so cheap, it's unbelievable. If there is an accident and you're with somebody, they can actually put these glow sticks on the ground or wave them in the air in the dark and people can see them really, really clearly. I like the lifespan of these and the simplicity. I also like the price, but it's a good way of communicating that there's an accident up ahead, especially if it's dark. One of the other things that you might want to consider is if you're seriously thinking about bikepacking abroad, if you go into Canada, Romania, or any of the areas that they have bears, is getting one of these. It's a bear bell and it fits on your handlebars. I think I bought this one for $5.99. You might even be able to get it cheaper. Now, bears are funny creatures. While we all think they're really, really cute and cuddly and they do cute things with their hands, they are not. They are wild animals. The thing about bears, predominantly the brown and the grizzly, is if they hear you coming, they quite often go in the opposite direction. But it is worth bearing in mind that this isn't always the case. Come the spring, when the bears are coming out of hibernation, they are hungry and they're angry. They also may have young with them and they will fight to the death over their young if they think that they're intimidated or there's a threat nearby. Finally, all these things can go neatly either in a Nalgene bottle or it can go into your bike bo bottles. If you're like me, I'm constantly losing all these bottles. I, they fly off, I start out of my, my uh, holders. Uh, I leave them, I drink and I leave them behind. It's unintentional, but it does happen. But at least if you put your first aid kit or a lot of the small things in one of these, you've got a spare bottle that you can filter water into. So you're never actually without fluid is actually a bothy bag. Now this bothy bag is a summit four person bothy bag. Now already the temperature's starting to drop out here. It is getting colder, but you imagine being in the mountains where the, uh, the, you're high in altitude and the winds suddenly come in and it has happened. The winds come in and you're exposed to the elements. Now you might think, yeah, that's great. I'll get my tent out. But if the winds are more than 50 miles per hour, I am telling you, it's very difficult even for me to get my MSR tent out, stake it down properly and then fiddle around with the insides, which is what mine's designed to do. With a bothy bag, if the elements suddenly come in, you can put this over yourself and your bikes and use the weight of your bike and yourself to hold it down while the harsh elements are passed or to give you an emergency shelter. Now. I'm inside my bothy bag. As I said, this is actually a four man bothy bag where you get one person in each corner um, and they sit down and they literally use their bodies to weigh down the bothy bag. This will help keep the wind and the rain off you. In here, I've actually used my bike to, to keep it up. However, if the winds are really strong, this is gonna blow over. So you might wanna put your bike off down onto the side. I use panniers to anchor it down on the corner and I'm also sitting down on the other corner. So you use the weight of your luggage to keep this bothy bag down. But this is relatively cheap to buy and it's one of the best products I've ever had. Having said that, bike packing is supposed to be a happy experience. You must keep yourself very, very safe. And in order to do that, you must have some emergency equipment with you. So the wind and the weather is starting to close in here. I'm gonna finish up by saying, I thank you all for your support. If you liked again what you saw in this video, don't forget to click, subscribe and like. And please, please, please put any tips that you've got in the comments below. I hope you have a great bike packing experience for 2024 and I hope that you like this video. All right, everybody, let's go.